Hi, my name's Melinda. I am Sugar Scout Mom, and I am a mom that is part of Troop 36 out of Bentonville, Arkansas. I have been with the troop for about five years now and have been going camping, backpacking, all kinds of stuff with my scouts, my older scout. My younger scout just crossed over from the pack. I am the advancement coordinator for the troop and also the advancement chair for the pack. So advancement's been my, my main thing that I've been doing with the troop um, and the pack, but um, I've also gone on almost all the campouts and things that the troop has done, so I have lots of experience. Over the years, I have collected a lot of gear, and so I have thought that maybe some other people might like to learn um, or see what kind of gear would work or not work. So this is a review of my gear. I thought I'd start with one of the first gear that we got when my son, my oldest scout, crossed over. He is now a life scout. He is two merit badges away from Eagle and we are so excited about that. But this is one of the very first purchases we did when he transferred over to the troop. It is a Thermo Rest Scout sleeping pad. We have had this for about five years. It has held up through numerous campouts, backpacking, all kinds of stuff. He is on his 99th night of camping and you can see it is still, well I'll take it out in just a minute and you can see that it is still holding up very very well. I just took it out of the bag. You can see it is compressed rolled up. You just unroll it, open it up, you can see Therma Rest, Trail Scout. Uh, all you do is you open up this valve and you can let it sit for 10-15 minutes or so and air will start automatically coming into the Therma Rest. We usually are a little impatient and we will just do a couple puffs in here to inflate it instead. Here is the sleeping pad fully inflated. If you're impatient like we are, it takes about 10 to 15 puffs to get it fully inflated. If you wait for it to self-inflate, then it takes about two to three puffs to get it fully inflated. As you can see, it's got a decent thickness to it. Um, still holding up very well after five years. This is my youngest scout. He just crossed over to the troop, Jaden. He is showing the length of it. This is the regular size. So this is how long the regular size is and it's produced many comfortable nights for both him and my older scout who has used it many 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 more times than him. Here's the sleeping pad without him on it. You can see it fully inflated and it's very very durable. Good thickness and this is the regular size. So it comes in small, regular, and large. The regular has been good for both my older scout and my younger scout. My older scout is about 6'1", so this, this is a little bit small for him, but he still makes it work. He doesn't mind if his feet hang off a little bit. And then you can see it's really good for my 11-year-old, perfect size. I would definitely recommend the regular because it fits all the different sizes. Unless you've got a really, really tall scout to begin with. And I would go with uh, the bigger size. But it's held up well over the years. We've really enjoyed having it. It was a very good purchase. When you're finished with it, it is really easy to put up. You just release this valve right here. That'll let air out. Hold it in half. I find that sometimes if you give it a couple squishes and let the air out this way, it helps making roll it up easier. When you roll it up, you want to do it from this end, not that end, so that all the air can come out as you roll it out. I find if you put your needle on it and then roll it up, that helps keep it sturdy so you can get a smaller roll on it.
you can see it rolls up nice and easy. And as I'm rolling it up, the air is coming out the tube in the back. Once it's fully aired out, I close the valve so that it stays shut. And then you can see it easily goes back in the bag. There you go. So that was my first review. Be on the lookout for other equipment. I have got lots that I will be reviewing and hopefully this will help out another parent or scout when they're trying to figure out what gear will work for them. See you later.